Morning in our tiny house usually consists of food, chores, and some downtime to read or write before work. We don't have running water in our tiny house, so there are chores each day we do to get rid of waste water and bring in new water. I'm sure the longer we live this way, we'll come up with new ideas to make this easier. Esther made us some really good smoothies today with coconut milk, strawberries, banana, and I think pineapple. We use a two and a half gallon water jug for washing our hands, cleaning off vegetables, and rinsing dishes. We also have a USB chargeable sprayer with a pump that allows us to rinse large amounts of dishes easily. We got it on Amazon for about $50. Our wastewater collects into a single five gallon bucket. When that's full, we switch it out for another bucket and place a lid on the first one. We typically get away with only dumping our buckets once a day. We have been toying with the idea of digging a big hole and filling it with rocks. That way we could just dump the wastewater into the ground. But we're still doing a lot of research about the environmental effects on that, what kind of soap we would have to use, whether it would smell or not, and all that kind of stuff. Water's on the steps for you. So for now, our waste is disposed down the toilet in the main house. We spend a lot of our morning making breakfast and lunch. We try to eat a lot of healthy whole foods, which can take extra time to prep, but are well worth it. Our oven we got from Amazon for only $100 when it normally costs $250. It's been one of our favorite things, and it works really well. It's made by Wolfman Puck if you were interested. They look like hot dogs, kind of. We are very blessed to have such easy access to clean water and a place to dump water. Though I get annoyed with all the running around, I know I'm far better off than many people around the world. Living in a tiny house is really great, but it also requires a lot of willingness to be flexible and patient. You have to adjust to the new lifestyle. Whoever is eating that lunch is a lucky man. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, comment below and tell us what you thought.